So I made $13,000. No, technically speaking, I made $30 and I'm day trading today. And today's video is going to be great. Going to share with you so many mistakes that I made. And I also took time to do an educational experiment just to prove a very important trading point. So let's go. Shout out to members who made a killing today and this week so far. Well, you've made some very decisive trades, so well done to you. And let me run through my trades very quickly. Well, I did make $13,000 by closing my positions in SPY near the all-time high territory, but that doesn't count. Uh, for my small day trading account, I made $30 and I'm going to run through my trades. I started with the loss, I made my call early. And then this big red candle appeared to test this support. Now, I got stopped and that is not a bad thing because once I saw by impression the support, I re-entered immediately. Now remember, stop loss doesn't mean your trade is over. Stop loss just means an opportunity also for you to re-enter your position. Because look, if I get stopped here and it comes down to this level and I repositioned it with a call, I would travel that same path my stop loss took. So whatever that stopped, I am going to make it back if I reposition it better. So stop loss is not a bad thing. Please have stop losses, but just need to know what's the next step you are going to take in mind. It's just like playing chess. You can't be playing one move at a time. You want to be thinking three steps, four steps ahead. So. At this moment, I bought another call and I managed to make it back. It was a great, it was a great entry, uh, but my exit just wasn't on par today and you will see why. Uh, so I, I managed to close it uh, for some, I managed to close it a little late here. I didn't even take partial profits. Now, normally I would take partial profits here and I would have come away with a, uh, easily $200 profit here. Uh, but this red candle came in and didn't take partial profits. So the story for today is that stop losses saved me and I had a green day because of stop losses. I went into great entries, uh, but I didn't pull the trigger. I will explain a little bit more why later so that we can all learn from it. So this morning trade, I made $5 just by re-entry. I was down $80. I made a good re-entry, could have been up $200. Now, usually, as I always tell everyone, take partial profits. I didn't do it today. Uh, it's, it's terrible, but you know, stop losses saved me again. In this case, I managed to get stop out. And I made a $5 profit from a terrible trade here. Not too bad. First trade of the day. Now, the second trade wasn't that bad. I bought uh, at 11.28. I bought a call option here uh, and managed to write this one out. Um, managed to make about a $75 profit here. The third trade, I bought a put. Uh, it was a good entry as well. At 13.09, I bought a put, put here. It was a great entry around here. I have not for this big rate candle, uh, but I got stopped out here by this uh, fake out here. It was a good entry, but uh, alas, I did not take my early profits here once it reached this key level. Now, today's play was a lot of scalping play. I'm going to explain the market structure uh, later on, uh, but I, I didn't close the partial profits so that I could take this fake out. So I got faked out here, uh, $67 loss right here. Uh, for my next trade, uh, I immediately repositioned after closing, after getting stopped out, and I repositioned with a put here. Uh, once again, I didn't pull the trigger. I didn't take partial profits quick enough. And uh, yeah, like once this one, this once this rising trend came in, I got stopped uh, for a one cent profit right here. So I got stopped for a profit. It's not a bad thing, but I didn't pull the trigger fast enough. And I always tell members to take partial profits, and I am not doing it today. So once again, I got stopped out. I repositioned and managed to make a profit. I could have made a green profit here. So look, stop loss is not a bad thing. Stop loss is just part of your strategy for your second, your third move. So you have to always think three steps ahead. 
know how to reposition, know how to work on it. Stop loss is not a bad thing. Uh, today, my mistakes were just not taking partial profits in time and not scalping when I should in a range bound trading day. Our next trade at 2.30, I, I took a call option here. Once again, great entry. Look, I bought the call option here. It was a great entry. Uh, but uh, I got I didn't take partial profits again once they touched this key level, so I got stopped out really easily, really, really easily. And I'm going to explain why getting getting stopped out so easily today, uh, but took took a three dollars loss right here. Uh, once again, if I took a good partial profits here, I could have adjusted my stop loss. It went all the way up, could have made a hundred dollars here. And lastly, uh, one last trade and made my thirty dollars. Well. This was an experiment and I just wanted to make a point, especially to members today. Now, when we were range bound trading here at a 0.5 range here, you can see SPY. This is very uncharacteristic. We're trading on a 0.5 range uh, for at least a good two hours. And when this happened, you know, it's boring. I just wanted to make a point. So at this point here, I bought both a call and a put. I'm not in any open positions here, just looking, just observing. So I decided to just play something very simple. I bought a put and a call option when we were near the center of uh, these two ranges. Now we were trading at extremely low volume. So I knew there will be a volume spike coming up. Just don't know which direction. So I bought a put and a call and I made sure that my stop losses were safe at these two key levels here so that they will not go wrong. I created some more buffer to prevent uh, being faked out because the last thing you'd want to do is to get faked out on your one run and the other run was a loss. Yeah, so I, I was very careful with my stop losses here to prevent being faked out and I just wanted to prove a point. And after which this big large red candle happened. Now my calls were stopped out so i got stopped at 103 dollars loss uh, but my puts went all the way here and at this point i was actually i was actually about 160 170 dollars up uh, but i once again you see today i didn't take partial profits i allowed the, some slight recovery here before i closed it uh, for 137 dollars profit now what point did i want to make here well the point is very simple stop losses just work you can go both ends and if you have superior stop loss strategies you will always come out green no matter what if you make good trades if you had good stop losses your stop losses will always help you get green now you may have some very bad experiences with stop losses they may have stopped you in a fake out now the issue is not with the stop loss always put your stop loss but learn how to make your stop loss even better. Know how to enter good trades with good stop losses. Stop losses will save your life. Please, please use stop losses. And with this point, I've just proven that stop losses, even if you go both ways, you have a good stop loss, you are going to come up with a profit. Now, of course, you may get faked out. Definitely you will. And so you have to be very careful with your stop loss strategy. Sometimes you have to be a little bit more liberal. Now, the only reason I did this was because we are range bound trading in the 0.5 range and extremely low volume. So I knew the volume is going to come. It's going to come big on either ends. And that's the only reason I took this trade. I had some safety in mind and I had stop losses in mind. The stop losses will not go more than $100. That's about there. So it's a, it's a good experiment just to prove a point. Now, let's go back to the market context today. Now, what's going on? Now, we have the perfect plan. Now, this went according to plan in a possible place too. And the key levels are all working really well. As you can see, you now the key levels, they're just bouncing off the key levels as they should. So trading should not be a problem today, isn't it? So what happened? As I said, stop losses saved my life today, saved my trading today. And that's important because sometimes we are just not in the right headspace. And as you can see, today I made great entries, 
Ah, uh, but my exits were just atrocious. Uh, stop losses just saved my life on that. So yeah, it's not every day you need to trade, especially if you're not feeling it. And today, it's one of those days. And let me just explain a little bit about today. Uh, if you take a look at today's volume, today's volume is it's just, it's atrociously low. We are trading at 47 million uh, volume and that's really really low spy normally trades around 60 million and uh, for the past two weeks we've been trading around 90 to 100 million a day and today we're only at 47 even prior to power hour we were only in the low low 20s uh, maybe nearing to 30 million just before power hour so that's really really low trading now low trading just means a few things firstly we are going to have equilibrium like this it's going to be range bound and uh, secondly uh, we are going to have larger candles now, i stated in my report here uh, the bears are going to take the elevators we can see large rate candles here high volume large rate candles here higher volume large rate candles here higher volume large rate candles here higher volume that's what's going to happen today we knew that was going to happen uh, but if you're married to the idea that we're going to challenge all-time high again instead of trading sideways then you're in for some trouble so make sure you have stop losses not to be married with one idea always change the structure along the way now in low volume trading, you know, what we're going to get is we're going to get range bound consolidation because buyers and sellers cannot make up their minds where they want the charts to go. And we are at the mercy of large rate candles like this, of some big buyers of big money just wanting to pull the trigger at one time. So we're at the mercy of them. So we have to always set stop losses, even though we know uh, how it goes according to plan. Now, the next thing we have to take note of is that uh, there is going to be larger spread if lower liquidity and with lower volume. And that means that uh, the candles will be larger in nature. Look, even the smaller candles are large with long wicks. Uh, this is because of low liquidity, low volume. Uh, there's going to be a larger bid ask spread. Uh, so it will take a larger spread for orders to be agreed on and filled. And this is the reason why for large uh, candles and even long shadows like this. So key levels will, although accurate, will be less precise. Now accurate but less precise, that may be an issue. Now, if you're a beginner, you will also be panicked uh, by these larger candles, especially the fluctuations around the key levels. So these are all real issues. Now, how should I have played it? Now, this should be a scalping play because this is range bound trading. Uh, scalping play means you have to be decisive. So the members that made money today, they were all decisive. They closed their positions early and I strongly encourage that. In, in fact, I do that all the time, but just not today. Uh, so it happens. And uh, yeah, this, this, is, this is it. Now, as I mentioned in uh, my market context, this is exactly what big money wants to do. What they want to do is to cool down the market because at the start of the day, um, all the indicators, well, most of the SPY indicators, they were uh, overheating. So it's uh, to prevent a trigger of a sellout. Well, the big money has to uh, try to relax a little bit and try to cool down the market a little bit. And that's exactly what they did. And we traded sideways. Now, it looks bad and grim, but it is further from the truth. We literally traded sideways. Uh, there was um, no no clear pattern up or down. So this is exactly what big money wants because they want to hold this out uh, before we challenge all-time highs again and then take the profits later when we least expect it. Uh, this is according to play. You know, shorts, short sellers are able to recover their positions a little bit. Uh, but let's see whether they get squeezed because uh, there's still a lot of short sellers in the market uh, that didn't manage to close their positions, especially after five consecutive trading green days and we have very solid green days. So let's be careful, continue to watch out, but this is uh, not too bad. So just a quick recap, uh, always set your stop losses. And I've shown you again and again, stop losses will save your life Stop losses will make you go green in the long run. I've had nine out of 10 trades, nine losing trades out of 10. And as, as long as you have good stop losses, you're going to lose minimally. And I just need that one good trade to be a long runner and you will make back your profits. So 
please trust me, put stop loss, make it as part of your strategy. Uh, your moves cannot just be one step. You need to have two, three steps uh, to think ahead, especially with regards to repositioning. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow morning.